Hey guys, before we get started, I just wanted to let you know about an upcoming event, which is brought to you by Athena Severi from China Magic. I'll be hosting a fireside chat with million dollar sellers with Dan Ashburn from Northbound. There won't be any silly name badges, so you're gonna to have to remember your own name. Basically, this is a Christmas party with a difference to celebrate us as Amazon sellers. It's a sit down free course meal with an open bar at the dinner, music and networking with like-minded people. So go grab a ticket, bring your partner, bring your friends, sellerevents.com, see you there. Hey guys, welcome back to Seller Sessions. Today I bring in uh, my guest, Larry. I won't share his second name at this stage. He wants to uh, stay under the radar, which is fair enough. Um, Larry uh, approached me about doing some consultancy stuff and whilst we were on the call, we kind of cut off, covered off an area which was intriguing to me. So basically, Amazon has been selling on Larry's said listing. Um, but the problem is, it looks, well, it is by the test buy, is that um, it's fake. So it's not actually Larry's product that Amazon is actually selling whilst on his listing. And I've confirmed with, with Larry himself that it's an actual Amazon brand. So hello, Larry. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, Danny. I appreciate you having me on today. No worries. So what the exercise here is, I want people to see what kind of shit that Amazon sellers has to go through. So Larry is going to run through a timeline of everything that's taken. I've got him to document it, which I'm grateful for, because I'm sure it took a bit of time to put together. But um, sellers out there, more on an advanced level, will know how difficult it is. So the other guys may not not know as much, you know, but don't realize how many tickets are raised, etc. And the idea is hopefully uh, we can get to the bottom of this and uh, um, sharing this information will allow other sellers to be aware and, and know what to do on the next step. So, Larry, do you want to just give a, obviously we don't talk about your product, et cetera. Do you want to start off with a timeline going back to the beginning of October now? And it's still not fully resolved, is it? Sure, yeah. Um, early in October, um, I noticed that the, uh, the, category, the node changed for my, for my product. Um, from where I originally had it set up in when I started uh, selling it in uh, uh, February. Mm -hmm. uh, so I didn't think much of it. I figured I would go and adjust it at some point in the future. Um, a couple days later, the, uh, the title changed. Um, obviously, I didn't, I didn't change it. I had my uh, product name, my part number, um, and a description that sort of matched the, the product. Um, although there were some misspellings and some mischaracterizations of, of the of the product, so they shortened it dramatically, um, and I'm not sure who who did that, but I suspect that it's the the folks that ended up uh, supplying this product to Amazon. Um, on the, the um, two days after that, the uh, I lost the buy box, and um, the price dropped on the listing when I first looked at it from like around twenty dollars to sixteen dollars. And um, it was being sold by Amazon, um, Amazon directly, not one of their brand names. And um, uh, I uh, tried to figure out what was going on. Then I, um, I uh, dropped the price one penny below just to regain the buy box. And I, I um, actually did. And for the most part, except for a couple of occasions, I, I've had the buy box about 90, 98% of the time. So I'm, I'm still getting sales. Um, but not uh, not to the the level that I was before, and not to the profit margin that I was before. Yeah. So what what's happened this when you went to them stages of raising tickets, etc. Like you obviously you discovered Amazon's on your listing, and you go, you know, okay, let's just deal with this. And then talk me through that whole process of you've done test buys, etc. Right. So on that same day, I opened a, a call to, to, to Amazon. Um, a, a ticket. Um, well, I called into Amazon and and then they opened the ticket, a case, and uh, uh, said that somebody was selling on my brand, trying to to get the them to separate the uh, the two sellers onto their own listing. Yeah. Uh, they opened an internal case to sell a performance, and then they advised me to do a test buy of the product, and then um, open a, a case online. Okay. So just for clarity, the irony for me here is they've asked you to create a test buy an Amazon employee 
you know, worked for the seller central team. An Amazon employee asked you to do a test buy of an Amazon sold product, which is Correct. meant to be your product. Yeah. Correct. And, and I don't sell the, the product to, to anyone. Uh, the sole place of distribution is Amazon right now. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't have to do any uh, wholesale to anyone. So, so nobody has my product except me. Yeah. Um, so I, so I proceeded immediately to do a test buy. Um, and uh, it was marked as prime, but it took four days to, to arrive or five days to arrive. Yeah. Um, uh, in between when I placed the order and received the order, I did get the, the title changed. So that, that was successful yeah. back to what I wanted it to be. Uh, the test buy uh, arrived. Um, it was not in an Amazon box. It was in a plain brown box just with a shipping label on it. Uh, the label said it came from Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah. And um, so I opened it up and it was not my product. It was very similar to it. Um, it was, you know, my, mine is the, the product itself itself was modeled after another one that sells um, on Amazon. I did some, some upgrades and, and heavy branding on it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, the footprint is just slightly different on, on the product that arrived and um, the box was dusty beat up the um, the product was in bags um, no uh, um, suffocation warning uh, labels or anything like that and the bags were dusty like they've been dropped on the floor picked up and the product put in it so it was overall just a a, a bad presentation of of um, yeah uh, apparently your brand yeah yeah so yeah it, did, it had no um, it had did not have my brand name on it I uh, did have a part number and a, a barcode um, on it. And um, so with that information, I composed a pretty detailed uh, document uh, with side-by-side -side pictures, opening the box, um, uh, same views of my product and that product. And, and so anybody that looked at it could tell that they were similar but different, distinctly different product. Mm -hmm. um, so I opened that case up. Um, and after a few days of not hearing anything, some, some bright person merged this case, the new case that I opened up online, with an existing case that was already marked um, as answered. And so that was, that was when I originally called in. So, of course, that freaked me out. Um, I was not happy at that point. Called back in to, to Amazon and worked my way through um, reps until I reached the catalog team. They reviewed the the case that they had marked as answered or merged and agreed that it was not appropriate for it to be merged and they um they opened it back up and and try to push it deeper into amazon um about four days after that five days after that um i received an email from seller dash evaluation at amazon.com mm -hmm. it's saying uh, thank you for reporting the listing products that may not match the detailed page because that's that's really what what is going on here? Yeah, um, and uh, they said they would investigate, report, uh, but for privacy reasons, the results of our investigation will not be shared. So, yeah. promises, but no verification. Mm -hmm. um, and they they had a, a new ticket number which didn't match anything that I opened up. So I'm guessing it's a, a internal ticket number or case number. Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming that they received this through the the online web case that I opened. Yeah, but then it's obviously either fallen through the cracks or it's not been picked up upon. So what was the next stage for you? So yeah, um, Amazon dropped off the listing the, the next day. Um, wow. So I was pleased, things were, were great. Um, then they remained off the listing for uh, four days. Yeah. Uh, or five days. Uh, so they jumped back on the listing. So starting the same thing all over again, I did another test buy. Mm -hmm. um, while I was doing the test buy, I started just doing some detective work on the part numbers and UPC code that that was on the the first test buy box, yeah. and found that a company in San Diego was um, listing that part number mm -hmm. uh, at, through their internal website. Yeah. Uh, so I've uh, I did a little bit more investigation after that and and tracked the first tracking number. So it didn't actually originate in Lexington. It originated in, in San Diego. Yeah. So I'm fairly confident that the, um, the company that I found online and, uh, uh, is the same one that, that shipped the product. 
Yeah. Uh, I've coined them DBTT, DBTC, Dirty Bastard Trading Company. So whenever <laughs> my mind, they yeah. use a lot of things for DB, but um, so that's, that's what I've been calling them in my head. Um, and uh, the, the second test order arrived um, a couple days later, still it's, five. Did, did by now, we, we're at the beginning of November, so we're nearly a month from past. Yeah. Correct. And um, it, it's had the same five day delivery time and the tracking number came from the same city in San Diego. So I'm fairly yeah. confident it's the same, same place. So I, I did some uh, additional pictures of the new order um, and opened a second case with um, online, uh, basically duplicating the first one that, uh, that had been uh, merged and answered. Um, and uh, after a few days, uh, no, um, no traction on it, no, no contact. Yeah. And uh, I, I came back in and, and called Amazon, uh, I think it was on a Monday, because I, I took the morning off, and tried to have them split this, this company from my listing. I didn't tell them that it was Amazon to, to, try, to, my wedge, to try to wedge my way into the, um, the queue to get the, the more senior people to, to yeah. look at. The support queues, yeah. Right. Um, and the, somewhere in there, they decided to create a new ASIN for my product. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was a complete disaster. Uh, so I had about 90 minutes where I was not, not listed at all. Yeah. And so I had to call back in and get someone to undo that, that mess. Um, and, uh, and finally after, yeah, after about 90 minutes, I was back on the listing. So I decided not to, to be too adventurous and creative from mm -hmm. there on out and how I, how I engaged, engaged, um, Amazon through the, through calling in. Yeah. So what was the next step after that? So we've done two des test buys. You've had a disaster going on where they've, you know, separated you onto a new ASIN, et cetera. What happened thereafter? Um, so I was uh, still still waiting for that second case to to resolve itself, um, yeah. and uh, while I was doing that, I, I looked a little bit deeper into my co direct competitors, and then a couple of them mysteriously had Amazon on their listings also. Yeah. So I said, okay, well let's let's just order one of Amazon's version of both of those products and see what we see. Um, so two two or two test orders. First one arrived from uh, from uh, Prime Proper two days, uh, but it was not definitely not the product that was listed. It was the same exact product that um, I had received in my two test buys, yeah. and uh, the box was um, very similar, or it was the same, but the it was cleaner. Uh, yeah. So like it had been in an FBA facility, so they took a little bit. Not kicked around the warehouse, yet. Yeah. Right but it was the exact same footprint of the box, but it did come in an Amazon box. The, the second test buy uh, came uh, about the, the five day window. Uh, it was not in the same footprint of, of boxes. It was in a, a, a reused Amazon box. It was like five times too big. And then inside that box, there was a smaller, more appropriately sized box with the product, but it was also an Amazon box. So I'm not quite sure the origin of that. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it didn't align with the, the two that I bought. But it, in either case, both of those um, vendors had Amazon on their listing providing um, almost an identical product to the, the one that I uh, have on my listing. So there's, there's so three. what we're looking at, you know, you've done two test buys off your own listing. These turned up in these kind of brown paper bags and a bit scruffy, the first two, which were related to your listing. So you've then gone to a market leader in your niche and then you've looked and saying, right, they're selling the same product. So is their fake product look anything like the two competitor listings? So you've ordered those and neither of those look like that, but they all look like the fake ones that you've got. Right. Yeah. So the, 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 the two competitors have similar footprint, but different sizing, different styling, yeah. but all, all four that I've ordered two of mine and two against the competitors yeah. uh, are, are really identical products just packaged a little bit different for one of them. So effectively what we're looking at is a form of hijacking, not done by a third party factories, etc., but all under the jurisdiction, what looks to be Amazon. Correct. So it's, it's hijacking sold by Amazon. So, but there, we, have you got any resolution now of 
getting to the bottom to it. So if you reported to Amazon, look, I've done two test buys on these other listings and they look the same. So it looks like they're using the same product across all these different listings. None of them the same, but they're all sold by Amazon. No, I haven't, I haven't um, incorporated that conversation into, into my cases with Amazon yet. No, I, I, I might, I'm not, I'm not sure if that will help my cause or, or yeah. compute my cause. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, just a couple of days ago, um, something switched on on the listing where Amazon had the buy box. This was this was five days ago. Amazon. I woke up one morning. Amazon had the buy box, and they had only eleven left in stock, which was odd because uh, as I was researching this, they had um, they had uh, around five hundred in stock through the nine 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 test. Yeah. Um, so they grabbed the buy box, 11 left in stock. So I decided to just to roll with it for three quarters of a day to see see what would happen if they sold out, mm -hmm. uh, which is, of course, a crapshoot because someone will get this product that's not my product and they can get bad reviews on the listing. Yeah. Um, after, um, after, say, eight or 10 hours that day, I decided I, I couldn't stand it anymore and I need to get some sales. So then I, I went ahead and dropped my price a penny and... Um, uh, they had five left and I regained the buy box. Uh, and one, one thing that was odd is I was watching the, this, the number available on this, um, uh, this, uh, Amazon listing or Amazon, uh, uh, company on selling the product is that they would sell two and then the, it would increase by one sell sell two, increase by one back, go back and forth. So I wasn't sure what was going on with that. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any actions on that yet, but, um, it just so, stuck in the back of my mind. So where are we now with Amazon? What's what's the um, what's the latest? So I I decided to uh, just kind of wait and see through um, through Black Friday and see what was going on with uh, with my sales. Uh, I had the buy box. I didn't want to rock the boat with the, the really the next step uh, yeah. through my. This was would be my first Christmas season with this product. Uh, so I'm going to just give it um, a week or two, but probably go explore intellect, an intellectual property claim against yeah. Amazon. If I can figure out how to um, frame that correctly so that um, I don't get in, in trouble and, and just do something that will get me off. Yeah, because I, th I imagine your concern is, is that when you, you know, we've, it's been a bit of a disaster for you. The last thing you want to do is put a claim in and then they just take the listing down completely Correct. you out the game and then strange your inventory and you're in all sorts of trouble. So, Right. My, my, my heavy season is in, in Q, uh, between Q1 and Q2 in, yep. in uh, spring. So I, I've got a little bit of time and I think that I'll take my next big gamble um, after, after Christmas. Yeah. Uh, and, and go when you've got a bit of a quiet period and you can use that couple of weeks to get you know, right. And I've, I've got a, um, a trademark in, in process, uh, had one, I would hope to have, have had it by, by now, but I had one small setback. So we're, we're answering back some questions and, and with luck, I'll have that in uh, a month or two at the latest. And then that, that'll give me a little bit more standing within Amazon to, uh, to approach it through a, a an IP claim. Yeah. Cool. Makes sense. Look, um, if people wanted to reach out to you, I know you, you know, you, um, you, you don't do like public stuff so much, you know, this is maybe one of the first podcasts and stuff you've been on, but if someone wanted to reach out for you, you've got an email address so that if they have any questions, they may be in a similar situation. Sure. Um, uh, you can reach me at Larry at bditco.com, bditco. And, um, if somebody has similar similar situation, I'd be happy to hear from them. And, and if anybody has any ideas how to approach us, I'd be very grateful to hear from them. Cool. That's good. Um, so, look, we'll get you back once you've resolved this. So that can obviously help share with the audience so they know what to do as next steps. But I think the IP claim is going to be one of the key components. But like you said, you don't want to get taken out of the game in important part of the season. So that's going to come down to time. But um, thank you for joining me. Uh, guys, thanks for listening. If this is your first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again in the next few days. Take care.